Right, hello, and welcome to a first look at Dark End. 2D RPG. So, when you first start the game, you will enter this land. From here, uh, you'll talk to various people and find out that well, this guy is your blacksmith, all these things like that. Um, she also buy your potions, which you will need. Various things like this for when you enter the dark end. You may be asking what the dark end is. Well, it's a bad, bad place, and you go through here. And let's actually get to what the dark end is. You just say we should use our skill points, which we've already done. I will get to that in a minute. Right, so you encounter various different levels, different floors, I should say. And this is just one of the portals and keys. Because on each level you will find a portal which will take you to the next one. However, to unlock that portal, you will need a key. And the keys you can get them from chests, or you can get them from floor bosses. I think they can also be dropped as random enemy loot, but you're guaranteed to have a chest that spawns with it in it, or a um, floor boss will spawn, which will also be guaranteed to drop the key so you can get to the next floor. Good, isn't it? Um, on the each floor you encounter normal enemies, and you will encounter rare enemies. Rare enemies hit like a truck, but you'll get a lot of experience and a lot of gold and stuff from them. So let's go into actual combat. This is actually a rare enemy, I think. So we might get destroyed here. Right, so these are my two characters. I got my mage, Zai, and my. I'm gonna call him a holy knight, Lucian. So, she uses magic, but her fireball has a one turn wall whenever you enter combat, so you can't just go in there and fireball the face straight away. So, we're just doing normal attack, but I did absolutely nothing. You can do normal attacks, you can do special attacks. Which um, each character has a unique um, version of these. The major she doesn't have one right now, but we could probably unlock that later on. He does, but he doesn't have enough EP to use it. So you get EP by attacking, and I think you just get so much after each turn. So he can't do that. So he could do his magic. His heavenly bolt, his holy bolt, has one turn one as well. So we can't use that, but we could heal ourselves. We don't really need to do. In addition, you also have your passive things. This knight's innate skill, guard command, is fifty percent more effective. So we can guard, or we can use items. Okay. So we are going to attack. We did absolutely nothing. We are getting destroyed here. We should probably escape. However, we wasn't able to escape. Yep, so we couldn't escape. Let's try again. Yep. And let's try again. Okay. We just got completely destroyed by that. That is why you should not underestimate those enemies. Because of that, now we have to use a stimulant to revive her and potion to heal her. Right, that was not a good start, but that does show how soft the rare bosses are. Uh, not rare bosses, rare enemies will be. They can completely wreck the day, so once again, can't use fireball yet. Put the one turn warm up. Right, poison, that is a problem. We will need to heal that soon. Because. Basically, poison sucks. And it will. Chunk your health if you leave it on dependent. So obviously, these enemies are a lot easier than the rare enemy. Get a nice, satisfying little victory song and get some gold and experience. Lovely. Right, so use all of them to do. And there's something expensive, you can buy them on the frontier, which was the first area we were in, and I'll get back to that in a minute. 
for about a hundred gold, I think, mean, so not too pricey. Ah, okay, so this for has a chest that contains a bronze key. Okay, so there's no floor boss on this one. We can explore and find other stuff, so there's 472 gold, so there's four antidotes or four potions right there. So in before you encounter this, not necessarily exactly like this, but you will encounter an area that has a portal, and then do you wish we receive the next floor? And the key, yes. And this is a strange generation, the key was right the hell there. Okay, this guy's gonna come mess me up. Unless we can go away. Uh, I'm gonna, I think I have a double fight her. Preemptive chance. Okay. Um. Escape. He would destroy me. So easily. I think I've got a pretty good chance here as well. So each enemy has various weak uh, then several weaknesses. Or singular weaknesses, I'm not quite sure. And that's something that they're strong to. Obviously these big piles of goo are not particularly strong against fire. As you'd expect. Um, yeah, so one tap went to that. So, let's see. So, obviously these guys are weak to the fire, so, yeah. Boom. Obviously they're a lot easier than the rare enemies. We even got a potion on that and slime bits. Fuck that gold, nice. Uh, don't really need to actually use anything, do I? No. So that was interesting, we got the key straight away. And now we can progress. He's there, sorry. Okay, here's the chance again. So this can count lots of different enemies. And if you want, you can just like you can put your buckets in fours and not fight most of them really. With the exception of the floor boss, which you'll need to fight if there's one there. So you can get the key. And maybe you get cornered by an enemy. Enemies will move around the level as you do, and they will occasionally move in a way that may corner you. Like at the start of one level, there's an enemy that was always waiting for me, so as soon as I spawned in, he would be there. Do we ever get free potions on them? Wow. Nice. Um, we could just leave right there, but let's go explore. Exploration in RPGs is important. Let's go see what's up here. Very long ladder. Immediately ending in an enemy. I want to try and sneak past him if I can. Boom. <laughs> Boom for eight gold. Go away. Damn it! <laughs> oh crap. I didn't know that she was poisoned. See what I mean by poison is a problem? It can hurt if you don't keep an eye on it. Damn. It really, really can. Alright, um... Let's... Go and... Just next level now. The poison can't actually kill you, but it can take you down to one health. Speaking of poison, there's some antidotes. Your lifesavers in this game. Ignore all the enemies, cross... Vines run into an enemy. Good job. She's gonna escape and just sort of like showing the game. So, how about her? 
So the levels will alternate a bit, like at one point I had this as the first level. This particular layout. Right, so here is our floor boss. He's basically just a stronger version of a normal enemy. You somehow missed that, good job. You missed that big pile of ooze on the floor. So there's weak point fire. And obviously like the zombies that we've seen have like our weakness to holy damage on it. So I didn't expect it. They are zombies. Can't expect them to be strong to holy. I mean, I just want bashing it cross into their face and go, Die you undead foul creature. I don't know why I said that. On oh, white undead foul creature. I said that quite strangely. Whatever. Uh, I actually missed loot though. That was silly. We can't go back. Unless we make it out to a point where we can come back in without well, having to do it all again and then actually choose to do it all again. Or we could actually use an item which takes us out. Which I will go over in a minute. Right, uh we'll just use fire to finish you off on. So let's see some um, enemies have evasion jumps. And I'm actually missing one thing I haven't gone over yet. Right, if you press shift, we can see the stats of the target. So, and um, you can only see this once you attack them. So obviously he's got okay attack, not very good defense, but decent agility and decent lock. Well, not decent lock, actually, he's like a third of decent. So if we encounter another rare enemy, I'll try and show how powerful they are. Because I'd imagine they stuck pretty high. Use another potion on you. Go keep ourselves alive, right? Right. Don't walk through the poisony water, that's not a good idea. Right, so, if we want to weave at some point, we can use the warp mirror. Imagine we're going to create a temporary warp gate to get out of the dark end, so that's if we get stuck. But we're not really stuck yet, so I don't really want to use it. Ow, just water. Fire and scythe. Not really useful for us, but that is a weapon that could be useful for a different character, because at the start you get a choice of four different characters. Uh, one to be your main character, and one to be your secondary character. And one of them uses a scythe, so... Not that useful to us, but could be useful in other circumstances. Okay. Um, this isn't quite what I was talking about in terms of like, but, um, a strong enemy, but... Right, we still don't know his stats, so I think we have to actually wait until he's attacked before we know how strong he is. Oh my god, I did a crit, that did a lot of damage. Um, so we attack now, do we say? No, we don't. Okay, interesting. I thought we would. Guess you just can't find out with the floor bosses. Don't want to give away the secrets of how tough they are. You should realise they're a wuss. Right, is this level 5? We're going to level 4. It's actually level 5, okay, sweet. It's a mysterious magic crisp. Oh. I think they are actually called crisps, but I want to call them crystals because they're crystals. It's a magic crystal! It's seething with dark energy. By thunder! Is it the legendary dark crystal? It sure looks ominous and dangerous. Whatever it is, it's too dangerous to be left alone. A shattered. What do you seek in this world of darkness? 
I heard a voice in my head. Is my mind corrupted by the dark end? Or it could be that dude. Tell me. Why? Why did you come here? Who are you? Men are creatures of weak nature, thus they always seek to empower themselves, always hunger for more. I sense a great malice from this man. Be careful. The Magus King created these fire crystals, although unrivaled in the sheer power of magic, he hungered for more and sought to control the power of primordial darkness. How utterly weak and stupid. Stupidity. So the tales about the Magus King, the first dark end are true after all, but what is it that you want with those crystals? I'll finish what he started. I'll write the final chapter of his legacy. And he's gone. Oh no he's not, sorry. Spoiler! The crisp is surging with energy. Fare thee well. I do not wish to see you again. Just try to die. He's gone! That man, he's dangerous in the field. Anyway, let's take care of that fire crystal. It seems the dark end is connected with those crystals. Yes, I agree, we must shatter those foul stones at once. Right, so. I'm fair though you encounter this. And I believe you will probably encounter every fifth level after that. This is our fast troll. Or checkpoint system, whatever you want to call it. Hmm, what just happened? Is that some kind of teleportation magic? Ah, I see that. That's how it works. Oh, you figured out how this gate works? Why, yes! It seems that the gates inside must be activated first in order to use this outside gate. If I'm not mistaken, you can travel back to the gate from inside. Just by using this gate. That's how the seven gates work. That's fantastic! Those gates will surely come in handy. Of course, but remember, the gate must first find the remaining seven gates so that you can easily go in and out of the dark end. So, yep, yeah, that's convenient. Now we can do that. And when we come out, we can do things like buy new weaponry, buy potions, etc, etc, etc. Now, I'm just going to just quickly switch to my other save. Right, okay, I'm now on my other save, which is a, we've got some strong weaponry and stuff. And yeah, so we're gonna go have a look at that boss. Oh, sorry, <laughs> spoiler, there's a boss in the crystal. So this is how you pass and travel some next point, so here we go, here we go. And the only thing here is this crystal. Destroy it! Right then, I'll shatter this fire crystal. And bring peace to you. Grr, who oh, dares disturb me? I'll feast upon your flesh, intruders. Watch yourself, the foul energy stirs. Something's coming out of it. It's a chimera, which really makes me think of Yu Gi Oh! and the Yu Gi Oh! film. He just sort of looks like that a bit to me, but I guess all chimeras look. Similar, but this guy looks very cool. I really like the art style. Lots of different things in this game. I'm a chimera, beast of corruption. My roar will stun your body, and my poison will rot your soul. My flame burn your hope. Alright, let's try and fight him. Don't know the odds of success. I oh, actually got a stun on him, nice. So that we can't spam that because it does have a cooldown. But we can do it again. Hopefully it'll stun again. No, I don't. Damn it. Ow! That hurts. So obviously this guy's tough. Can we see his stats? Nope, we can't. It's only after. I think it might only be after you killed one of them. 
Okay, good luck. Unless you poison me, that's fine. Let's heal myself up. And do. And we'll do holy bolt. Yeah. Still haven't poisoned me, that's good. Um, if we do shield bash. Oh, we missed. Damn it. Can't use either of those right now. Nothing on cooldown. Need to heal you. So you didn't actually get any damage on this turn. Ow, he hit us both. That sucks. Come on, we can kill this guy, right? Uh, let's heal you. Oh, come on, he's got to be close. He's got to be close. I need to use a potion. Actually, none's done. I need to use it. These potions are well on her. Alright, she's done full health. Good. Fireball. Oh, come on, this guy's got me so close to dead at this point. Jesus. He does not want to go down. God damn it. Um. Come on. Um, I think mend on myself. Okay, we're in a better position than we were. Conveniently, before this fight, there is the gate, so you can actually go back to the frontier, and there's a lady who sells your potions, who will also like. Before you restore you, and I think it even gives you all, all your MP back. So that's very nice. Because without that, you would be fighting less than your top form. Shouldn't I really use that on her? I should just use a generic heal for the herbal. But... Right, um, fireball again. Come on. Oh, come on, he's gotta be close to dead now. Hey, we stunned him, sweet! Uh, oh, we bolt, come on, kill him! Oh, this guy does not die! He's so strong! He's so goddamn strong, look at this! This guy will not die! He really will not. Heal him up. Yeah. Um. And you heal her up. Deal. Deal. God damn it! This guy is so strong. Come on, fireball him, please. Kill. Oh my god, this guy. He's so tall. I'm only on like normal difficulty here. Oh my god, this guy. <laughs> this guy won't die. Just die, sir, please! For the love of god, die! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, I missed. Uh oh. Um, oh, we haven't got enough use to do a Use a potion on ourselves. Don't poison me. Thank God it didn't. Uh, I'll have to use a potion again on him. Hey, he's back full health. Oh my God, die! Die, you monster!
Seriously. I mean, we're one away from me. Please actually use our uh, fireball. Now we can. Sweet. Yes! I killed him. Thank God for that. Holy crap, that guy did not want to die. Whew! Um, obviously we've got to level up from that because he was overpowered. Jesus. We've got a reset ruby, which I'll go over that now. Because I guess you have some level ups now. The eerie, eerie light wore off the crystal and it becomes inactive. That's... That's it. Phew. I did it. Phew. What's happening? The light. It's blinding. I can't see anything. Wow, this looks nice. Little snowy thing. So you meant to say this? Yes, dear. This may be our last decent, our last decent meal. Our ration stock is getting rather low. This raise I fear for the worst. Damn that ruddy war! Damn it, hell! No need to get upset, dear. I'm sure we'll win the war soon. What's on those regal dogs skirming back to the empire and all? I don't give a damn about who wins this war. This war has been dragging on long enough. The country's going to hell. The people are starving. What in the ruddy blazes? P please. Help. It's just a girl here. I'm not old enough to be blind yet, silly woman. Of course, I'm a poor homeless orphan. Please help. I'm, I'm hungry. Dear, this child's starving. What should we do? Uh, uh, I am um, I don't know. Should we share our rations, dear? I, uh, no, I don't. I don't think so, no. no. But dear, she's just a child. That's exactly the point. Listen, look at her. She's just another ready, ready war orphan. Who wouldn't last very long in this age anyway? Why should we waste our precious bread with those dead meats? They're probably going to die in some gutter anyway. But. Say no more. You want to see our son when this war's over? We've to survive. This is harsh, but this is reality. There is no place for weaklings in this world. Listen, kid, we've got nothing to share with you. So you better go away and try no place. Go on, scrap! Don't look at me this way. Once upon a happier time, I might help you. But this isn't exactly the happy time. This is the exact opposite of it. So don't blame us. Blame your cruel fate to let, your f let you face this. Harsh time. Go on. Shoot. But I'm hungry. Oh dear, the girl's faint. Leave her, she'll die soon enough. If she's fortunate. Oh, this guy's harsh. Um. Oh, you're awake. How are you feeling now? I thought you were a gun. You're a strong lash, you know. What? Where am I? Well, you're in um my house. Yes, my house. Please feel free to stay. Cheer up. Um, what's your name? Oh, how rude of me, I have to introduce myself first to a lady in my house. Um, my name's Lou, and you... Mama always called me a little Zai. Little Zai, it's a beautiful name. So, your mama. Oh, sorry. Mama told me to run, so I tried to be a good girl and ran. I ran and ran! But I can't forget her scream. It's scary, still here. It's every time I sleep. Don't worry, Zai. Brother Lou will protect you. I will keep you happy. Will you? Of course I will. 
I'm happy. No one cares about me before. Not one bit. Not anyone? I'll take good care of you from now on. Trust your brother. Oh. What? Don't you trust me? I'm strong and I promise I'll keep you... Ha! <laughs> no, it's just that... I'm hungry. Oh, of course. Uh, I've got some bread over there. It's kind of getting stale, though. Bread? Zai likes bread. Zai likes speaking to third person. Alrighty then. You rest here while your brother Lou is going to eat, get little Zai her delicious bread. Lou, your legs. Are you hurt? Hurt? No, it doesn't hurt. Not anymore. So don't worry. Now, little Zai, trust me. I'll protect you. I, I can protect you. Thank you, brother. Did I just see a fragment of my distant memories? But how? Pardon me, I did not mean to pry. But is it your past that I just saw? What foul magic was that? I don't understand. Why we can see my past like that? Was it the work of the Dark Crystal? Twist our minds. A helpless child in a war torn land. Why do I see the scars of war everywhere? I set my eyes on. I'm truly sorry, young lady. You must have had a pretty rough childhood. You'll have to ask who has um, who hasn't had um, a rough childhood in this age. Hmm, good point. The Regal Empire and Eastern Haven Kingdoms waged a dreadful war for decades. It's hard to find some someone whose past has not tainted by war. But looking at your past makes me feel back. Um, feel bad for having a rather peaceful childhood myself. That's being silly. Pardon? The past is something that can't be changed anymore. Why feel bad about it? Instead, let's focus on making a happier and safer future for everyone. You're correct. Let's pass on then. The future will never be bright without the star. With his dark end. Zai is now level 4. Lucio is now level 4. Okay. So now I can go for the upgrade system. Okay, we'll save first. Yes. So we've got various save slots, obviously, so if you want, you can, like, retry something until you get it perfectly, and, like, say you get a drop you want. So this is the lady who will heal you up. She give you free healing, and she also sell you potions, which we don't really need right now. This guy will sell you armor and weaponry. So let's just have a look at what he's got. So fine hand axe is better than a sharp axe, but it's very expensive, and it is really good staffs for us. Oak staff's not really that good, it's a plus two compared to what we currently have. Okay, and what about armors? Oh, that's not bad. Low tunic, but it's very expensive. And fine robe. Also very expensive. Okay, we'll leave that for now. Right. Let's go through the upgrade system then. Let's just do upgrade system press A. And the upgrade system comes out like this. You have little crystals you can choose. Uh, a completely lightless crystal, an unknown skill is locked in there. Obviously to get that you have to unlock the previous one. So let's look at this. A crystal fade shimmers with warm, faint light. Focus. Magic energy to unleash a devastating attack next turn, level requirement 3. Effect 2 times magical damage next turn. The user will able to act current turn. Chance of success 50%. Target self. Um, turn cooldown 1, uh, sorry, 10.1, cooldown 3, warm up. Yep. Uh, do you wish to kindle? Uh, no, let's look what else we've got first, shall we? So I've already unlocked this, which is the fire. Yep, fireball. Oh, and um, we can actually kindle a second time now, right? 
Yeah. Uh. Okay. Um. You know. What? Yeah, we'll get that. In, in Kindle, fireballs been upgraded, so you can upgrade your things. What's this one? Uh, Pyromancer, so passive skill increases the power of all kinds of fire spells, level requirement three. Yes, fireball is very good, so obviously upgrade that is very helpful. Now we can't upgrade again because we need level requirement five, so uh, each um, upgrade will obviously require you to have a higher level. Right, if we go over here, this should be our healing magic, the Light Snow, I it's called. And Frost Mage. Passive skill that increases the power of all kinds of ice spells. Yes, I'd actually like to do that. So now we do that and this. Then, we are not stronger than that actually because we need to be level 6 with that set. So, that's not happening right now. Right. So we're doing for upgrades. We'll look at like, what that... Looks like a minute. Now this is his, your um, your little partner, your helper, your second in command. His upgrades. The shield bash. This is his unique ability. So we can upgrade this. So we get extra damage, extra stun, and EP cost down. I actually would like to upgrade that. Yes. Alright, and then we have this. Holy Bolts. Yes, that requires level 4. Are we level 4 yet? Oh, yeah, we are. Okay, sweet. Let's upgrade that as well. And then it should be the healing. The um, mend, yeah. So we'll upgrade this as well. Yeah. Okay, so that's the upgrade system. Which is quite nice. A bit different from just like a generic menu. So we'll save again. Yes, uh, I can save over this. And now we can actually go back in here and we can. We'll just quickly check out the next level. Just to show off our newly upgraded abilities and whatnot. Anything happen when we interact with the crystal? No, nope. Crystal is dead and gone. Yes, let's proceed. New set of floors, new music. And this music sounds awesome. I really actually really like the music in this game. It's not just now. It's catchy, and we've got a whole new host of enemies. We don't have a cool, uh, we don't have a one turn warm up on our fireball anymore, but it does cost us more MP. And that was his weak point, that did a lot of damage. I'd imagine Holly was strong against this guy, so we'll do that. Oh, that did a lot. Damn. Oh my god, that did a lot to me, though. Ow! That hurt a lot. My God. I f oh, fun and learning. Probably. Uh, I feel like I should do mend <laughs> so we don't die. Okay, good. Um. Let's do snow dust on him, so we definitely don't die. Right. God, he's dead. So we have actually, we should actually survive this. Thank God for that. That that was close for a minute there. That was close. Jesus. So obviously we're a lot stronger, but the enemies are definitely a lot stronger as well. Jesus. 
we got owned for a brief time there. There are a whole lot of new enemies here. Um, I like the fact that we don't have the cooldown though. Attack anymore because we've upgraded it. He resists that. Let's see how well he does against Tolby. Yeah, that's his weak point. Okay, good. I shouldn't really keep using this magic attacks as much because it will drain my MP. And I, that is limited. So I should be careful about that. This guy's just going to keep healing over and over again, I guess. This is a fireball. Dead. <laughs> you can clearly see we're a lot stronger. Right. I'm just going to quickly grab this. Bronze key. I don't want to fight him. I really don't. <laughs> so we're just going to try and avoid enemies if we can. Oh, there's a chest up there though. I want this chest. 695 gold, nice. So you can actually like completely dodge enemies if you want. So let's just check out the next floor. But we're not going to do much more now. Just want to go here for a second. Right. Now I'm going to use the warp mirror to get us out. Now, do we have any option to travel back stuff? Nope, we don't. So that's a one way type of thing there. So if you want to get out because you're worried you're going to die and you don't want to lose some nice items you found or your experience or anything like that then you can obviously warp out like that but you will not be able to go back there you will have to progress again from the last bit right so I think that I've covered um, most things in this so thank you for watching I hope you pick this game up it is actually very fun it has a nice soundtrack nice art style there are various difficulty levels, so if you want an easy experience because you don't want to get wrecked, then you can choose that, or if you want a hard experience, like a lot of RPGs, then you've got that choice, or if you just want an average experience, you can for that. Or there is the extremely hard version, which I'm clearly not buying on because I would get owned so fast, which... It is more suited for if you are criminally insane. So, yes. Hope you pick this game up. Pretty fun. Nice game. And I'll leave a link to the Steam page in the description, as long as I remember. And I will leave a link to my full review on my review page thing. So, yes. Thank you for watching. Bye.